Hey everybody and welcome back to Crafty Made Easy. I know y'all it's been a long time, but your girl wasn't feeling very crafty. <laughs> but anyway, we are back and I just created this little ornament based off something I saw in Walmart. If you're interested to see how I put this little thing together, stand by. <laughs> you'll need to complete this project will include a hole puncher um i think this is called a bottle cap hole puncher i'll get the exact name and it'll either be across the screen but it'll definitely be in the description box below um you'll need a scraper some transfer tape now i got this transfer tape from the dollar um, 25 store you'll need some vinyl you'll need some beads you'll also need some wood cutouts I also got these from the Dollar 25 store, and then you'll need some type of string. So for this project, I'll be using the satin string. Um, you could, if you have it on, if you don't have this on hand and you have this on hand, you can also use the stretch magic string. So um, those are the things that you'll need for this particular project. I believe that's everything. If I miss anything, it will definitely be in the description box below. All right, y'all, so now that we got everything that you need out of the way, let's go ahead and get started on this project. Now, this project is a fairly quick and easy project. Uh, I kind of always jinx myself when I say that because then it doesn't turn out to be very quick or easy, but um, it should be a quick and easy project. The first thing you'll do is take some scissors and cut your string. So I went ahead and did that, and then you'll go ahead and set that to the side. Now you'll take your um, bottle cap hole puncher or whatever the thing is called, and you'll punch a hole in the cutout. So I already punched the hole because I wanted to make sure it would actually go through, but it's fairly easy. This is my little sample because I got some dye on it. Um, so all you'll do is kind of line up where you want to punch your hole and focus then you'll just punch your hole right through fairly easy and then ta-da you have your hole now i do have all right so i'm just going to grab a needle just because my um ends are a little free on the end and it'll just make it a little bit easier to put through the hole so all i'm doing is putting it through the needle pulling the hole through i mean mm, pulling the hole through pulling the string through the hole releasing the needle and we have the string through the needle all right so once you have that you can just put that to the side for right now or just lay that flat and then you're going to get your vinyl I'm just gonna move that to the side get your vinyl and your um transfer tape now I use this transfer tape one time and it worked fairly well um, it is $1.25 if you don't have any um, transfer tape. And they also still sell the other stuff that people use for transfer tape. But I was having issues with that. I was finding it was leaving a lot of sticky residue. So I kind of stopped using that one. Um, so I just kind of picked this one up just to see, you know, how it would work. I have yet to use the dollar store vinyl, but I have used their faux leather and that was pretty okay all right so now you can paint this if you want to you can stain it you can do whatever you want i'm just going to leave it plain just going to lay this in the middle like such and then and this cut out is pretty smooth so you don't have any you don't have to sand it or anything because it's pretty smooth hopefully that nope <laughs> all right there we go you gotta put a little elbow in to this uh transfer tape and uh stuff so all right so that's about is that that's for that. So you just want to lay your vinyl on your project as such. And then you want to get your beads. 
So I think I'm going to do two white and a little sparkly one. And I will have where I got these beads from linked below. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at that, y'all. Ooh, I like it. Y'all know I like the sparkle stuff. Okay, so I might have to get my needle again just to thread this through. Let's do one end first. Let's do one end because it might be too thick for both. And I don't want to break my needle. So I'm just going to do one end first. And then all you're doing is threading your um, bead through. All right, so once you get your um, beads on and everything, now you see this is kind of going to the side because of the point of the star. So if you have like a more flusher um, surface, which they come with the heart and the clover, it comes with two pieces of each. They didn't have any circle ones. I didn't see any in my Dollar Tree, any circle cutouts, but the circle one um, would have been, you know, a little bit better, but they didn't have any in the Dollar Tree. But um, I don't mind it. It's off to the side. But if you have a more, a less pointier uh, surface, it won't go off to the side like that. So anyway, what you'll do is you'll pretty much tie it off. Now you don't have to really like tie your, oops, I accidentally put a knot in the top, y'all. You don't necessarily have to tie your beads in place because your beads aren't really going anywhere. But um, if you want to, you can just make a little knot. You can take these two ends and tie it like such at the top like that. And then you'll, where you're kind of taking both ends and you're twisting them over as such and pulling it through like this. If I can grab the see nails is cute when you doing some um, when you go into an event or something, but it is not cute when you're trying to craft. So there we go, good and there you go, and that's enough to kind of that's enough space where you can put it on a tree. Um, now if you were putting it on a door or something like that, you would need just a little bit more loop, but uh, I'll think I'm just putting it on like a tree or something like that or like on the fireplace you know something cute and then of course you would just clean this up so chop that up lord have mercy these scissors suck get you some good scissors <laughs> oh goodness okay so that is the project it very quick very easy didn't take long at all the longest it took me is to figure out what kind of knot I was going to put on that sucker. But <laughs> anyway, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all did, please don't forget to hit me with that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not already subscribed. And also, don't forget to share this video. Um, I hope y'all have a blessed and beautiful day. I hope y'all have a blessed and beautiful week. And until next time, y'all, peace.